غيره أربعة، and then he names those. Is two things here. You see, the is talking about memorization of the Quran. Meanwhile, the man is talking about uh, what you call it, getting of the Quran. Because according to his statement, there are much and nabi. Before you can come and discuss other things, you need to have, for instance, the Quran, you need to have the Arabic language. You need to even ask for another talk about half of that, but we talk about what? Jama'ah. So it's two things all together. Salaam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa rahmatullahi wa So, the funniest aspect of it, when I say, me wahana, me who say, eh, Asi Bolange post the video via, even though Kudus to brother Ali do, we are responding to the video already. But the problem is that your friend is saying, Asi Bolanga, and the name Koko. Koko and Jane Fonny said, I was thinking that CSF only came to empower the black man. I never knew that CSF came to then to, to, to uplift the white man and then degrade the white man and the black man. All this while, no, who steady or more? Anytime be a, a, be a black man, or be a sembi, even if it's true, no more compare, or be only be. Say bro, new, and I say, hey, yeah, Arab, ni, no, I found a video. No, never about 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 the black man in Chantro. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The fact is, so was Saudi Arabia and just when the Madis will be our Ghana. Islam a school classroom in Etna. Obu, Obu, one quarter classroom. As Obu, one England, now one Ghana. No, we are university, non of secondary school students. Moya Bakwana. Adrina and Yeduma, and so you can see, sir, the word Jama. O bro ni no 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 ni se me divide ko baba O bro ni no no oni ne bai no as many jama a as hifzan jama a O bro ni no 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 ni se me divide ko baba O bro ni no no oni ne bai no as many jama a as hifzan as memorization hifz hafiz mahfuz eh hafiz and you'll be able to memorize it. Hifzan memorization. Eh? Who fars? Eh? The pro of Hafiz. Omodos, no, no. And a jama a ne verb a yajma u. Mom kokaratu. Wo yo. And to yen shayen kwa ya hadis, no. Hadis nini ye. Or say, Manjama al Korana, and a mask and the liaseno. Manjama al Korana. Who collected the Koran? Manjama al Korana. Who collected the Koran? And who memorized the Koran? That be Manjama al Korana. Who collected the Koran? Had this name, Mr. Say. Man yahfaz al Quran when misasa or can say man jama al Quran who collected the Quran man yahfaz al Quran aye who who memorized the Quran what you say so it is two different things altogether so it is two different things altogether so it is two different things altogether Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, we shall cover a, a narrative, a very famous narrative, recorded by uh, Imam Bukhari in his Al Jamiyus Sahih, according to which it is, uh, it is stipulated that there are only four people who collected the Quran in the times of the Prophet, and all of them belong to the Ansar. Uh, it is generally uh, construed that uh, this, uh, mem this collection, the word Jamar is used, refers to memorization, uh, whilst there are some people who think that it also refers to a written collection. But then, 
uh, question does arise that if it means uh, mem it refers to memorization, uh, then uh, should we? So it is two different things altogether. Yeah. Matan Nabi, Walam Yajma'il Quran Gayru Arba'a Abu Darda, Wa Ma'az ibn Jabal, Wa Zayd ibn Sabit, Wa Abu Zayd, Qal Wa Nahnu Wa Risna. So Sabit and Sumama, they report from Anas, uh, this narrative. So Sabit and Sumama report from Anas, the Prophet died whilst none except four people had collected the Quran. Abu Darda, Ma'az ibn Jabal, uh, Zayd ibn Sabit, and Abu Zayd. And then the uh, narrative ends by slightly different words, uh, which, which read, wa nahnu wa which means that we are his heirs. So this, these, uh, this is the narrative uh, generally on the basis of which this question arises that uh, what does this actually refer to? And the central or the pivotal point of discussion obviously will remain as to what does the word jama'a means. Now, three prominent scholars uh, Abdul Latif Rahmani, Tamanna Imadi, and Abul Qasim Al Khui, uh, they say that uh, this word, uh, that the word Jama refers to a written collection of the Quran. And uh, although none of them have presented, uh, uh, I would say that uh, Khui and uh, Tamanna Imadi, although they insist that this means a written collection, but they have not furnished any reasons for this uh, deduction. These views are concerned, uh, as I said, this is one category of people. Now, the other category, as I said, are people who think that the word jama'a refers to memorization mm -hmm. and they are so certain that this is the case that they don't think this is something very obvious. So of all the other people who relate uh, jama'a to mean memorization, they so in this background, let us now analyze the whole uh, scenario and, and try to find out what actually is the connotation of the word jama'a. In, in this regard, we need to understand is that all the major uh, lexicons and dictionaries of Arabic language actually refer to the fact that the word jama means to bring together. Here is what needs to be understood it that the word jama when it refers to uh, bringing together and it refers to the Quran when bringing together is concerned. Then since it is historically known that the Quran was revealed in, in steps, it was revealed in various episodes. So therefore uh, the word jama can equally connote uh, in the written collection as well as collection in the memory. Therefore, we can easily see that the word jama uh, has can refer to both to both types of collection: collection in the mind, uh, meaning memorization, and collection uh, on a, or written collection. So both can be construed as far as the Arabic lexicons are concerned. And so it is two different things altogether. Therefore, we can easily see that the word jama. Uh, has can refer to both to both types of collection. Col so it is two different things altogether. Examples yeah. in which actually the word jama is clearly used uh, to connote uh, memorization. Now this uh, narrative that I'm going to read out before you is from Al Jami uh, Al uh, uh, Sunan of Imam Tirmizi, and the words are: An Uqba an Muslim hadda saw anna shufayn al asbahi hadda saw anna hu dakhl al Madina faiza huwa bi rajulin. Uh, this is a long narrative and I'm just going to translate the relevant parts which concern us. So the messenger of God narrated to me that on the day of judgment, the Almighty will move towards people in order to pass judgment and every nation would be present there. The first people to be called would be a person, the first people to be called to be a person who had memorized the Quran and a person who was martyred in the way of the Quran and a person who had a lot of money. So I have translated this word, Rajulun Jamal al Quran to mean a person who is a memorizer of the Quran, which is clearly uh, the indication in this narrative. So here you can clearly see that the word Jama al Quran is again is, is used in, in the meaning of memorization. And another example uh, I uh, cite before you is, and this is actually uh, quoted by Abu Nuaym in his Al Musnad al Mustakhraj ala Sahih Muslim. And the words are, and Abu Aswad and Abihi Qal, Jama Abu Musa al Qurra, Fakal, La Tadhulu alayya illa man Jama al Quran. So Abu al-Aswad says that Abu Musa al-Ashari gathered all the reciters 
uh, and said, La tadkhulu alayya illa man jama al Quran, that no one should enter or come to me except the one who has memorized the Quran. And we know that he had gathered a people, uh, a gathering of people who were memorizers of the Quran. And this is the whole context of this, this uh, narrative. So therefore, uh, we can clearly see that uh, we have instances in the word jama, in which the word jama is used uh, for a, a write, written collection and instances in which the word jama is used for an oral collection or memorization. You can come and see, prove other things. things. You need to have, for instance, the Quran, you need to have the Arabic language. You need to now, the question is that how should we uh, give a preference to any of these meanings. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that they are very strong indications if we study the other variants of this narrative that actually the word Jama is used in uh, to mean memorization. It does not refer to a written collection at all. And we have very conclusive evidence from some of the other narratives uh, which clearly state, in my opinion, that it was actually uh, memorization that is being implied here. Uh, let me cite before you a narrative of uh, Imam Nisai, uh, we, which he has cited in his Sunan al-Kubra. And here you'll find that the word Jama has been replaced by another word, Qara. And uh, in Arabic, in those times, a Qari or a person who read the Quran in this way would, would, would automatically mean that he has actually memorized the Quran. So uh, the words are, an Anas qala qara al Quran ahdi ala ahdi Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Ubayi wa Muaz wa Zaid wa Abu Zaid. So you can clearly see that the same variant now has been replaced in a different form in which the word Jama has been replaced by Qara. Now, by all stretch of our imagination, um, by all uh, um, intents and purposes, the word Qara cannot refer in any way to a written collection. So the word Qara has to refer to something else. And we know, as I'll cite some proof before you as well, that the word Qara, when used such, refers to memorization. So here, if we, for the sake of uh, argument, if we still translate the word that there are four people who read the Quran. Now the word Qara al-Quran, as I, as I shall establish later on, that it automatically refers, when it says Qara al-Quran or uh, read the Quran, it means memorize the Quran. In, in those times, this is something very common. Now, the word Qara has the meaning of memorization, but all I, and there are several examples of this in Hadith literature. So if I am able to establish those, then I can say that I can replace the translation here of reading the Quran by memorizing the Quran. Because as I said, the word Qara also means to memorize the Quran. Now, let me quote you some examples which clearly speak out or clearly say that the word Qara is... Uh, refers to memorization. Now I'm going to cite you an example from the Sunan of Abu Daud and uh, the words of this are, this has been reported by uh, Sa'ad ibn Ubadah. He says that Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma min imri'in yaqra'u al-Qur'an summa yansahu illa laqi Allah azza wa jalla yawm al-qiyama ajzama. Now this is an absolute clear uh, example of how the word qara has, is used in the, in, the, in the meaning of memorization. Saad ibn Abada said that the Prophet uh, said, any person who yakra al Quran, summa yansa, and then he forgot. So the word yansa automatically tells us that the word yakra here means memorization because a person can only forget something what he has in his mind. So the opposite word yansa here has, is, has led us to believe that the word yakra, when used here, means memorization. So a correct, correct translation would be that. Any person who memorized the Quran and then forgot it will meet the Almighty on the Day of Judgment such that he will be maimed. Very representative language of the uh, language of those times. So therefore, when it says, Yaqra uh, al-Quran, summa yansa, it automatic, uh, automatically refers to memorization. Now, another uh, proof of the fact is that uh, in some variants of this narrative, which are recorded by Salabi, arise that in this particular session, uh, we have concluded quite conclusively, in my humble opinion, that the word jama refers to memorization. For reasons cited, uh, we cannot take it to mean a written collection. Now,